What's up everybody, I'm Abitage and welcome back to Warframe. I've had a little, another colour scheme change because I've been fiddling with the random colours a lot. I've but been still, operator. shush Otis. I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> uh, still levelling up Mag here. If we have a quick little look at our stats, we can see Mag is on level 18 now. Gorgon, which is that rifle, is on 19. Our pistol is on 26. Our sword is on 24 and 29. So I, I have been working on levelling them up a fair bit just to see how it will go. Let's change this from friends only to solo, because I think solo is actually quite different to if it's friends only, I think. I could be wrong, but that's the impression I get. <laughs> and let's face it, we're doing it solo right now, but yeah, I'm kind of sticking on these colors right now. At the moment, though, I just wanted to look at the foundry, because I just unlocked this blueprint here. Oh, and we have all the components. Awesome, so we dual stilettos. Yes, I would like to build that, please. Awesome. And not a lot else different here. I have finished and uh, claimed a couple of things like the sniper rifle we were building and another catalyst or something, I think. Can't remember. Let's have a look in here very quickly. Yes, this Volcar. We'll, uh, we'll try that out someday. But still sticking with the Gorgon, not a lot has changed, and Operator, this episode is going to be... No we're going to get into some action right now, after we do our housekeeping. Going to get our extractor claimed. And Plastids, I just keep deploying it on Phobos at the moment, because Plastids seem to be a good resource that we need that is limited, for want of a better word, that we have access to. Because there's, there's a lot that we need that we don't have access to yet, because they're on... You know, different planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Europa, wherever. Um, now, I don't think I can actually do this. Can we? No. No. The dojo, I think, is for if you have a clan. So you can go there and do stuff. But we're still rolling solo at the moment. We might do a clan sometime in the future. What's this thing? Oh, Lorinda Relay. Oh, okay. There's a trader there at the moment at the Lorinda Relay. That's what that's about, I think. Still haven't done this one, which is an interception mission. <laughs> Don't know if we'll ever get that one done. But I have been... I'm, I'm leveled up now enough with uh, the old mag and my weapons that I've been pushing forward a little bit on Ceres here. So you can see I've done a few missions. This one I haven't done because it's interception. It's that domination style. That one I've done. This one I haven't done. It's an assassination. So I need to kill Lieutenant... Lek, Krill, and Captain Vor, which is, we've killed Captain Vor way back. I don't know if we've done it on video, but definitely already killed him before. He's like the first boss you have to kill. Defense, an infestation defense. And we've got an infestation survival. And we've got a Grenier hijack. So we've got a few new missions to do, and we'll probably do one of those this time. Because I've done stuff like this capture and that defense and they have been tough because our mag is pretty under leveled at the moment and our weapons and the thing i'm getting is that for something like series or you know harder uh kind of areas for want of a better word is that you do need to be leveled up to tackle them and if you're not you're probably going to have a hard time and it's going to be rough there's another interception one that we haven't done yet but um i've managed to clear out most of the nodes on everything else. Let's see if there's anything exciting though up here. This is the new world kind of event. Continues to fall into chaos. Check navigation for active invasions. And so this is this Razorback thing has uh, got out or something like that and yeah it's this yeah level 20 to 30 so we might be able to do it maybe not. I haven't actually tried it yet. We'll probably try it maybe next time. But not this time, because this time I just kind of want to warm up a bit. These are our quests that we haven't done yet. But I was thinking maybe we do one of these to get some extra kind of credits and maybe a reactor or that sort of thing, you know? Uh, so we've got an infestation survival. We've got a capture grenier. That could be good. That's on Mars. And I'm not really sure what these things are, but I know I've got them before. <laughs> Really should look at them one day. But hey, that's part of being a noob in this sort of thing. Oh, we could get a Nyx Vespa helmet blueprint. Oh, let's do that. Although I think, do we have Nyx already? No, we've got Ember, that's right. 
But when there's blueprints on the table, I kind of want to go for them regardless. So, guess what? That's what we're doing. <laughs> so this should be fairly easy because, well, it's a lower level one. And we are leveled up enough to make it Our intel fairly straightforward. Of is in the Search for the hostage and bring them home. But what I have been doing is making sure I get lots of resources and that sort of thing whenever I go on these missions. So, you know, it takes a little bit longer sometimes, but hey, that'll give us some time to really get to know what's happening and bring up the map and have a little chat about where we're going. Because one thing I have been thinking about with in regards to Warframe is this series has kind of done his job already in the in the way that I feel like I've learned enough to be able to play it regularly even if I'm you know still a noob and still don't know what's going on 100% of the time what is that white bit on the map anyway <laughs> so you know we're still still learning still figuring stuff out but I feel like we've come enough of a way to kind of know what's happening with progression and that sort of thing. I've kind of figured out, you know, the value of the of buying platinum or getting platinum for that matter. And, you know, what the value of getting new warframes and new weapons and all that jazz. And that's why I kill this guy. And let's just get rid of these. So we're at a point right now where... I feel confident enough with the game to be making progress every time I play and not just kind of floundering around looking for something to do, which is what I felt like at the start of this series. So I can see what's going to happen is eventually these videos will become less frequent because as we level up Warframes and stuff like leveling up Mag here has been a lot of fun, but it's not really that much fun to, you know, put the grind on video so much where I've done, I've repeated old missions so many times just to level up old mag here and I don't think that would be very interesting for anyone else really. <laughs> but it needs to be done. And it needs to be done for every new bit of equipment and warframe. So what I might end up doing is just limiting Limiting these videos to kind of new stuff as I get there, as it's appropriate and, you know, when it shows up and when it's relevant. Because then it'll be, there'll always be something interesting to look at and, you know, it's not going to just be, I, I don't necessarily think it's all that interesting to show the entire grind, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Even though I don't mind the grind and, you know, I quite enjoy the loop. So, you know, that's probably what you'll see moving forward. Is whenever there's something new or interesting to look at, that's when I'll, you know, fire up the old video and make a record of. Because I like to... I'd like to see the progression over time in that sense. I think that'd be fun. And especially whenever I can learn something new about the game, because I'm still, you know, we might be far enough along in the Warframe education to understand certain things, but ultimately, there's still a lot that I don't know about and a lot that confuses me and a lot that I ignore because I don't know what the deal is. So, you know, hopefully over time we'll, learn, we'll continue to learn more about the ins and outs of all the systems and that sort of thing and what kind of stuff is available when you know what you're, what you're doing more. If that makes sense. <laughs> eh, I don't really want to go up there. I'm just trying to explore and grab some resources, but, you know. And like our little sentinel buddy here, 
the Taxon. He's almost completely leveled up as well, so we'll probably switch over to the the newer one, the more offensive one that I bought before too long, once he's leveled up to max, because our mag is now strong enough to withstand a little bit of punishment, unlike the first time we took her out and got completely owned, but that's kind of to be expected, I think. Nice. Stealth kill. So, you know, that's a little bit of what to expect moving forward. But for now, let's just see what we're doing. I'm not even quite sure about what my objectives are in this mission right now. Is it going to tell me? Uh, if you miss look at your progress on your latest mission. Yeah, that's not going to tell me. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I'm meant to be doing, like what that marker is for. So I forget what kind of mission this was, and you know, that doesn't doesn't leave me with a lot a lot of knowledge. <laughs> At least we know by default we can just kill everything and hope for the best. Man, this gun is still so slow to reload. But hey. Warframe's great. If you've made it this far, if you've been watching anything and you see this video, you should know by now that for all that we've learned on Warframe and how to play and that sort of thing, I've now spent maybe 50 hours in the game, so, you know, for all that we've learned, there's definitely a lot to this game and there's a lot to, to dig into and learn and get used to and get skilled at. Don't run away from me, buddy. However, I am, you know, I have put in about 50 hours, so if you're not into the grind, I'm confident in saying that this is not the game for you. It's the kind. It's like you know, like I said in the very first uh, episode. It's like an MMO where if if you enjoy the grind and you enjoy the loop, it's great because there's shitloads of content here for you. But if you don't. You'd, you're probably better off looking elsewhere now. I could go up there and check out that stuff, but that's not where my waypoint is. So let's just head towards the waypoint. i got to remember to use my abilities as well because... You know, I'm not. <laughs> and I probably should be. Especially when there's lots of dudes around. Let's uh, skip in here and throw out one of these. Kablooey. Mm. Oh, those mag skills are so cool. Alright, babe, let's go. Let's do this. Where do you guys keep coming from? I mean, you're coming from where I came from and I thought I would have seen you on the way here. Especially like you. I want to turn off these alarms. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. All right. Oh, easy now. Alarms successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. Like, I apologize if the map kind of annoys you, but I've gotten so used to playing with the big map on, even though it gets completely in your way, especially when you do things like this. But, um, you know. It's so useful. Oh, we got two... Okay. Having said that, though, I'm going to get rid of get rid of it because we're getting to our objective. Looks like heavy activity ahead. Okay. You are approaching the holding area. 
careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Oh, okay, so this is a rescue one. Gotcha. The bypass is done. Go. And we've got to get over there. Ah, okay, so this is a sneaky, sneaky one. In case you were wondering. So we want to try and avoid. This is where I can't wait to use that bow and arrow, because I believe you can shoot people with the bow and arrow, and it it's a silent kill. Right, so we want to get over there. Okay. In that case... Can we go up here? Let's see what's in here. No, don't bullet jump. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that was pretty cool, even though I didn't do it very stylishly. But you got to admit, that's the movement system is pretty rad. Nothing in there. Oh, hello. Yeah, I can sneak kill this guy. Quietly, quietly now. Stealth kill. Is there anyone down here? Okay, feeling good, feeling good. Shh, don't tell anyone we're here. Oh, it's upstairs. Can we... We could get up there. Let's do that. Oh, oh no. No, we can cut that, that's fine. Let's go through here. Here are the holding cells. Search each one for the hostage. Alright, now. That dude there needs to go. I think he's probably the only one. Come on, stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. Nice. Very nice. We are in. Let's find our bud. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I thought it was just open. You, oh, hello. You've located the hostage. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point, and I'll take care of the rest. Let's get out of here, bro. Yeah, come with me. Oh, hello. Why, see, why did you have to freeze the dude? Probably a bit too long range for this weapon, but never ye mind. <laughs> Just wasted an entire clip on him, but that's okay. So why do I still have a yellow... Oh no, I don't. Okay. I thought I had, still had a yellow waypoint, which is like an objective waypoint. Oh wow, he deploys those. That's pretty crazy. Let's do this. Oh, come here. Slice and dice. Alright, come on, friend. I will, I will, I will take you to freedom. You just gotta come with me, buddy. We're doing this for the loot. You with me? Is he with me? Oh yeah. He's with me. Good work, brother. Alright. Should be nearing the exit. If I remember this map correctly. Yep, there we go. And isn't that a lovely way to finish? A nice successful special mission with a special reward. Nick's Vespa Helmet Blueprint. Now, one thing I'd still want to do in the future, which this kind of reminds me of, is... Figuring out how to sell blueprints, like... For platinum because 
that'd be a good way to earn some platinum because I'd rather just buy the whole Warframe. You know, after my experience with trying out some platinum and buying some Warframes, I uh, couldn't be bothered with these blueprints. And I'll show you why. It's mostly because, you know, that was for a Nyx helmet blueprint, right? Where's that? Here we go. No, Nyx Vespa helmet. Vespa helmet for the... So this is a special helmet, even. I need Neuroids, which I haven't actually got anywhere that I can farm them yet. See, so this isn't even for the base Nyx blueprint. This is a special helmet. So this one, you know, this one, I'll take that back. This one's okay. This is actually quite interesting because it's a, a different helmet kind of cosmetic item. So I'm not, I've got no problem picking up those sorts of things. I guess it's like this Limbo Magrite helmet as well. Like it's, perhaps it's not the base Limbo helmet, but it's a Limbo Magrite helmet. A uniquely styled alternate helmet for Limbo. Vespa helmet for the... Yeah. So, you know, those I don't have a problem with. But, however, like Mag, I've got Mag Neuroptic... Oh, I, I've got Mag Systems, rather. I've, I need Mag Neuroptics and Mag Chassis. I'd rather not have to hunt them down. It was much easier just to buy the Mag Warframe, you know? But, of course, that costs money rather than being free, so... Like, the Oberon, I've got two parts of him. I'm only, only missing one. So, it's, to me, it's kind of worth... Okay, if I find Oberon Systems, it's so going to be worth making a whole Warframe out of that. Because, hey, as far as I'm concerned, that's free. Whereas some of the others, which are like still a long way away, like Nyx. Nyx is in one of those uh, packs of like three Warframes that I'll probably buy next time, which might not be for a good number of months ahead. However, I'm not in too much of a rush because I'd be happy buying the pack with Nyx in it than bothering hunting down all the resources and that sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Dig? Dig. <laughs> Let's go give everything a quick upgrade and we can have a quick look at where we're at. So we're on rank 19. Now get out there and cut down. Now Gorgon's on rank 20. Yeah, still being able to be upgraded, so we've got plenty of room for that, and we haven't hit capacity. I don't even have we got we don't have one. Purchase catalyst. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so if I had a catalyst I could upgrade that. I see, gotcha. But I don't. I've got the the one for the warframes, but not the one for the weapons. So Oh, this one doesn't have it either. Okay, cool, I see. That's why it's a bit limited. But hey, there's still upgrades we can apply to these. Which is cool. Uh, see, our taxon's on rank 29, which means we're almost done with it. Don't have any extra mods here. We're very limited on mods for that. And this guy, you know, this weapon. Cool, whatever. It's on max rank anyway. So, you know. That's pretty cool. Let's have a quick look at those ranks, actually, while we are here. So, yeah, see, the Taxon is, especially after the last mission, getting very close. Probably next mission will max out our Taxon. And then everything else is still cruising along nicely. So that's where I'm probably going to leave it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, we'll, we'll have some more content in the future, and I'll try and stick to stuff that is less grindy than and therefore interesting, <laughs> then, uh, you know, trying to keep up a regular pace is more the point. So, you know, things are going to start to slow down a bit, but I see this as like an evergreen kind of series. Like these videos, I enjoy making them. And, you know, even if there's only one a week, it'll be like, okay, here's the weekly update on Warframe. But that's kind of where I'm coming at from there. And that's where we'll leave it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.